He was out to play Nua in Smite 2. Nua is a mid laner god who excels in high burst damage and crowd control. Nua's passive is Strength of Wood. What it does is every 15 seconds, it makes your next auto attack a root. When playing Nua, the first ability you want to unlock is her 3, Shining Metal. And what this ability is, is just shoots projectile in a line that does damage and passes through enemy gods and minions. If you hit a god with this ability, your auto attacks will then be buffed doing AoE damage. Your second ability you want to get is your second ability, Clay Soldiers. What this ability is, is Nua summons Clay Minions. They will attack both enemy gods or minions. An important thing to note with this ability is if you hit the minions with your Shining Metal ability, they explode dealing massive amounts of damage and stunning enemy gods. After using this ability, Nua gains a penetration buff. Your third ability you want to unlock is Mysterious Fog. Nua sends forth a puddle in front of her that while you're in it, you are cloaked and hidden from enemy gods as long as you are not taking damage or attacking. This ability deals tick damage and also it gives you and allies a movement speed while inside of it. Nua's ultimate is Fire Shards. When using this ability, Nua becomes CC immune and ascends into the air raining down damage on, on all enemy gods in the game. This is a really good ability for getting those enemy gods that are running away with just a little bit amount of health. Items that I like to build on Nua are Conduit Gem, Book of Thoth, Chronos Pendant, Polynomicon, Spear Desolation, Rata Tahuti, Soul Reaver, and then for my Relic, I go Blink Rune. The most important thing with Nua's kit is to be making sure you get that explosive damage with your minions. Using your, your first ability along with that stun can help deal extra damage. It can also be used to get some good mobility and or escaping a fight a little bit. It's very common for me when I'm in a fight to do my 2, 3, 1 and then alt right away to help distract the enemies off of me and, and help burn time while I wait for my cooldowns. And one thing to note, if you are building Polynomicon, make sure you are getting those autos in between your abilities to maximize your damage. And 